A showdown that we've been familiar with. They've met in the semis of the finals each of the past four years. This makes it number five. Root Squad from Boston. Fury, the defending champions from San Francisco. January with World Games and then Worlds and now Fury. And the Fury season starts in the spring, but he was mixed up with a bunch of World Games head coaching responsibilities too. Opening break chance for Root Squad. Angela Zhu to the sideline. Lev Kowalczyk keeps it in bounds, and Brute Squad strikes first. Pretty good pressure there. Yuga Zhao with the footsteps. And a floater that is knocked away and somehow caught. Opie Payne pulled it off the back of Shayla Harris's legs. Are you kidding me? Let's take another look at that. That is something that I don't think I have seen so far. <laughs> so take a look. Oh, I really don't think that touched the ground. Okay, coming to the observer, I saw that as up. <laughs> Wild start to this game after Sophie Knowles deflected the floater into the hands of Carolyn Finney to her World Games teammate, Octavia Opie Payne. And there's Finney in the end zone. One of, if not the best team there. Tulsa Douglas hits Samia Ismail and a laser right through the hands. In the top 10 in goals or assists individually. It shows how balanced for the most part both these teams are. There's not one target like I mean, Kayla Helton and Dina Elimelech did so much of the heavy lifting for flip side. Claire Desmond launches long. Han Chen is there. The floater and Boston has it back on offense. One of the things we discussed with both coaching staffs coming into today is just the proficiency of both of these teams' D-lines, Megan. As the stall count rising, Volchek launches Anushka Beaudry in pursuit. What a shot from Volchek! Fury for the first time in 2012. What a decade it's been. They joined a team that had won every championship since 06 when they first made Fury. Nazaroff inside break. That's been her throw for a generation. Fury switches. Finney now, uh, excuse me, Sun now on Douglas. Awa Del Karim on Caitlin Lee. Near the sideline and incomplete. Hoffman had a beat on it, but it was snagged by Kalis Cardenas and Opie Payne rising up in the end zone in between defenders. 4-2 for San Francisco. Leanne Hoffman was so close to a block here, Megan, but it ends up with Cardenas finding Payne for the score. In front of Brute Squad so far. About a 76-yard pull from Marissa Mead and a drop from Lev Kowalczyk. A big huck and the opening score for the first break. A little too far ahead, and Volchek gets it back. Premier Ultimate League season. Yuga Shao leaves her feet to keep it alive. We've been told that Ospina's been invaluable on the sideline. Desmond goes over the top, gets the clean block on Zhu. Third turn of the point. And Fury converts. Thompson for Desmond. And it's 5 2. Ian, can you hear us? Having some uh, technical issues with Ian's mic. We'll get back to Ian in a moment. Lev Kowalczyk up the line. A couple targets there. And it's Kelly Highland. Or, excuse me, that's uh, Marika Austin hanging on. Nice throw. Nancy Sun up to O'Connor, and the chain continues. Hoffman, Grignon, Tomas. Nice dish. It's a win for Fury, even though Brute Squad scores. A customary kick spike from Samia Ismail, along with Lou and Cardenas for San Francisco. Big Huck. And Harris gave up on it early.
Ball check. Deep shot going up. Floating perfectly to the sliding target. And it's a brute squad score for Amy Zhou. And so it's smart to be respecting the backfield. That just makes an outsized task for you as a defender, knowing it could come at any point in time, anywhere. Great anticipation from Manji Ferrero, and Brute Squad has a chance to tie this thing back up. And up the line, insanity! Manji Ferrero, full extension for the equalizer! You notice that they're kind of setting up in a little bit of a diamond shape in the middle, trying to take away that pressure release. Keep Fury moving it from side to side without the ability to move it up the middle with ease. Tremendous catch, adjusting her momentum. And then Johnson with a laser beam to the end zone. 12 semis in 16 years for Brute since 2006. Ismail did not put enough float on that shot. And then squeezing through another tight space. Johnson lets it rip. Over Grignon Tomas. Rudin for Harris. And Payne with her third goal of the half. Takes it to half. Try and leap over Hecht to avoid any contact with the back. Yellow card is a PMF and a hand block for Jesse O'Connor. A lot of space in the power position goes Opie Payne. Awadel Kareem. Island prevents the shot to Payne, but it's squeezed through to Lou. Yeah, it's no question Fury attracts top talent, but the way they're able to really bring out the best in each one is just incredible. Ball check, deep shot for Ferrero, reset for Knowles, floater near the sideline. Beaudry keeps it inbounds, absorbs the contact, and hangs on for the Boston score. The kind of talent you need when you're trying to win tight games. Harris launching for Austin, testing Volchek, and Levka got the block. But a foul was called. The observer but perhaps is still not. Conferring. Okay, so the observer really is, it is not a foul. Beaudry picks up for Brute Squad. Volchek making the first cut, coming under, and Fury knew where it was going. Megan Liu with a poach block. Seen her in riot gear for so many years. Harris throws it away, intercepted by Ferrero. Manji Ferrero to Zoo. Shooting it for Volchek. She's got Sun beat. Volchuk is there. The clap catch brings Brute Squad within one. Completely different styles of ultimate play, showing just what a smart ultimate player she is. On Team Germany, she was very much a part of the... Brute Squad with a chance to tie it up here. Incredible defense at the goal line by Fury's Han Chen. We haven't even spent much time talking about Juliana Werfeli today, Megan. She has been so important in so many big game performances for both these teams. But Han Chen, Desmond forcing backhand, but a nice little dish to Zhu. Volchek gets it back. Zhu looking elsewhere. Breaks the mark. Beaudry for Volchek. She's got it. Certainly more turnovers from the increase in wind speed, but also just the general increase in pressure from both teams. Finney breaks free up the line. Power position. Harris is the target. Maybe Ian can confirm whether that is Gala down there. I'm not sure. No one open for Brood Squad. And Megan, there are several players on this line that have been teammates for a decade now. Imagine all the reps and practice and semis and finals. Mini, everything. 
Yeah, you certainly see the chemistry pay off. As Low throw from Desmond, but kept alive for the Fury break. And just nowhere to go. Really tight space there to squeeze it through, and Zhu has had enough of the fiddling and diddling. Deep shot goes over the top for Volchek. And the root squad able to convert with Sophie Knowles in the end zone. Fascinating just to learn about Germany's program, how they had been working on it since October of last year, and you really saw the fruits of their labor and how good, oh my gosh. That's the right words, Megan. Amy Zoe with the laying out hand block. Again, the individual performances we are seeing today, something to remember. And Boudry looks like she just lost it. Not yeah. sure where they got a piece of it or not. Fury on the doorstep, Lynn. Stall count rising. Forced to just take the shot, and the stall was called, I think. There's contact in the end zone. The disc is incomplete. Desmond shaken up. A lot to unpack. If it's an uncontested stall, then the result of the throw and the potential foul downfield won't factor in. And it will be Brute Squad's disc. Wild. Brute with another chance to tie it back up. And Maggie Rudin says no. Goodness gracious. Back to Rudin. Inside for Werfele. We are eight minutes away from the soft cap, and Fury extends its lead. Blue squad really having to labor for any forward momentum this point with nothing coming. Multiple times in this half, though, when they've struggled, it's been Caitlin Lee that has yep. been the one to get free. Yep. 41 years of Nationals, 36 of those 41 years have been a team from Massachusetts in the women's division semifinals. That is incredible. A bobble and an interception. Volchek has it down by one. Just a dominator here, Ferrero, Zoo, and Volchek working it into the red zone. Can they get across the finish line and tie this thing up? Yes, wow. they can! What a sequence. Incorrectly calling a violation. Finney gets it downfield across midfield for Payne. Back to Finney, letting it go. Big backhand, and it's knocked down by Brute Squad. Sarah Hansen with the deflection. Not clear who that was intended yeah. for, Megan. And a drop from Zoo. Great pressure from Johnson there on Zoo. Quick restart. Finney lost her footing, recovers. Back for O'Connor on the goal line. Swings it. Johnson. Great defense by Beaudry. But squeezing it to the open target. And Megan Liu puts Fury in front 13 12 in a game to 14. I'll check looking Lee. Ball check. A yard shy of the goal line. Squeezing it wow. to Caitlin Lee in the end zone. It's 13 13. And one more point will decide who will advance. 20 yards away from the goal line. And another trip to the finals for Fury. Floating it near the sideline, not in the end zone though. Payne on the doorstep. Finney. Laser for the score. Fury survives as Marika Austin hangs on for the game winner. Another classic between these two powerhouse programs, but this time in the semifinals, Fury wins by one on Universe. What a game.